fragile crimson petals rise from disturbed earth. A symbol of a forefather's actions that have earned a place on your clothing, but also in the memory of generations living life in traces of their legacy. We learned it in history lessons, not necessarily grasping the gravity of what they must have seen. To think the troops included around 20,000 teens. To think they left so soon engulfed in tinnitus and screams. Survivors were subjected to their shell shock daydreams. Bomb blasts peppered them in scars psychologically. Thunder of the war machine, unparalleled brutality, 40 million casualties, civilian and military. Splintered memories adrift in broken testimonies, minds shutting down and blocking out what was perceived. Debilitating wounds of war, physically and mentally. From the trench they rose to Armageddon for their country. A fear of feeling fear itself. They couldn't be afraid. Faced with court martials and the stigma of the shame. Some of them were 14. Told to be brave. Stiff upper lip, Tommy, come on, play the game. When Tommy went over the top, he never was the same. Tears are shed for Tommy because he found an early grave. But we're here to commemorate the sacrifice he made. Your name carved in stone, Tommy. That will never change. So the armistice was signed upon a hundred years today. But many conflicts followed on, tearing through the ages. All over the planet, this cycle of devastation damages the human beings caught within its nature. Devices made for killing have evolved and gained more power. But objectives on the battlefield remain the same to soldiers. For those who mourn their loved ones this 11th of November, a poppy on the chest embodies that they are remembered.